Hi guys, it's Jeff from Herdio Audio here. And we hope to make home audio systems affordable for more families. This video takes a look at the two core elements of how it works and how to use it to explain the Herdio Outdoor Speaker. We have divided it into 10 points in total. If you're new to Herdio, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss our updates. So let's get started. Okay, back to this. First, let's understand how they work. Herdio's outdoor speakers are divided into active and passive. Active speakers have a built-in Bluetooth amplifier that plugs directly into the power supply. Passive speakers need to be connected to an amplifier to use them, and they don't have Bluetooth. So how does the passive series and active series work for a pair or two speakers? I attach a couple of connection diagrams. Whether active or passive speakers, they do not have their own interface for audio input, but you can have passive speakers linked to an amplifier with an audio input to input sound. Our amplifiers BX01, 68, 16BD all have AUX holes. Both 68 and 16BT have USB and MIC ports. For the active speaker, which is the main speaker, it has a built-in Bluetooth amplifier inside, and one speaker can work as long as it is powered up. Herdio's outdoor speaker models are 400 1501 and 601. They are 4 inches, 5.25 inches and 6.5 inches. Except for the 401, which has no Bluetooth light, when you plug in the power, the Bluetooth light inside the active speaker starts flashing, which means Bluetooth is looking for pairing. When the Bluetooth light is always on, it means that Bluetooth has already been connected with a device. So what should you do if you want 8 speakers to work together? You can link 8 passive speakers with 268 amplifiers with TWS function. One end of the speaker cable is linked to a passive speaker, and the other end is linked to an amplifier. 68 amplifiers can be linked to up to 4 speakers. Its TWS function allows 268 amplifiers to work together. But if you don't want to use an amplifier, how can you link multiple speakers using active speakers? We know that Bluetooth is in the active main speakers, and you can use speaker cables to connect passive speakers in series with active speakers. But this approach we recommend linking up to 4-6 outdoor speakers at a time because of the bearing capacity of active speakers. So what should I pay attention to when wiring? When one end of the speaker cable is connected to a red-black pillar on the back of the speaker, note the red positive pole and the black negative pole. To ensure good contact, please note that the speaker wire insulation is not placed in the metal terminals. The same is true with the other end connected to the amplifier. The speaker cable should be placed in the front position. Can the speaker cable be extended? Our default length is 5 meters. You can use the same specification of the speaker cable hardwired or contact us to custom purchase the length of speaker cable you want. If you want to hardwire the power supply, you can use the included 12 volts DC cable wiring. Please note that this is only available for the 401 and 501. If you have purchased more than two pairs of active speakers from Herdio, whether you are on Android or iOS, you can change the Bluetooth name by clicking here on the list of connected pairs. This is to distinguish where the Bluetooth is installed. How do they pair with Alexa? Please note, make sure to disconnect from your phone before trying to connect to other devices. For passive speakers, connect via our Bluetooth amplifier. 
For active speakers, connect via the main speakers built-in Bluetooth system and change the connected device to Bluetooth in the Alexa app. Next, click on the device below and click Connected Device to search for Bluetooth. Make sure your Echo is online and connected to EFI. Connected to Haas 401. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. Similarly, connecting passive speakers Bluetooth amplifiers operates the same way. Okay, so some customers will ask, are they waterproof? I think it's unlikely that you would leave them in the water or just leave them in an uncovered area to get wet. In fact, they are usually resistant to moisture and the elements. But the power supply is not waterproof. So they can best be used on a covered deck or patio to extend their life for them. To install them, you can see that the metal frame on these speakers have screw holes and you can fix them to the wall with screws in. And the two knobs at the top and bottom of the speakers can be controlled to give you a better rotation of the direction. So hopefully this video will help you get a more comprehensive understanding of how to use our outdoor speakers. Some specs on them can be found in this video. If you're looking for the right outdoor speakers for you at Herdio, contact us by email. Always happy to help, then be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the Herdio speaker series. See you in the next video.